Rockstar Nation, welcome to Amped This Week on YouTube. You know, each week on YouTube, we have a great appetizer here. Sure. A great feature match every week. But Chris, Amped on the Rockstar Pro Network, that's the main course each and every week, isn't it? Absolutely. Only at rockstarpronetwork.com do you get to see the foundation, mm -hmm. our tag team champions in action. Will you get to see OI4K? Will you get to see the Rockstar Pro World Champion Aaron Williams in action? Just just buy the freaking network, you idiots! And speaking of the network, our next oh, iPay-per-view, the Blacktop oh, Battle's oh, coming up. A great event, one of the biggest ever. Sammy Callahan will be there. Yeah. The Rockstar Pro World Championship will be on the line as all ego Ethan Page gets a shot. And Chris, our main event tonight here on YouTube, it's a good one. A first time ever matchup. Spider Monkey going one on one with Alex Cologne. What a matchup that's going to be. Are you serious? What? First time ever? Yeah, that's right. They, they, but they have a legendary. Hey, hey, hey shut up. Best Before of we seven. get to that one, let's go to highlights from other matches here on AMP this week. What is he talking about? What's he talking about? RC Sniper attacking Kyle Maverick for this singles matchup here on Amped. I'll tell you what, Kyle Maverick last week, what a matchup he had in the main event with the Rockstar Pro World Champion Aaron Williams. Chris, he nearly won the World Championship. A valiant effort by Kyle Maverick. Absolutely, Mark. I'll, I'll, I'll give him that much. It was an amazing match. It was a great effort. But ultimately, at the end of that match, Kyle Maverick lost. Oh, man. What a hip toss that was by RC Sniper into the turnbuckles. I don't think I've ever seen a hip toss like that. I like this RC Sniper's attitude. He's, oh! Maverick comes back with a chop to RC Sniper though. Oh, and what, <laughs> there right you go. to the eyes goes RC Sniper. Are you kidding me? The great equalizer. And now he's choking out the man without fear on the middle rope right in front of the referee. That's the thing about RC, he's probably the bad dude that we know the least about. Oh man. <laughs> but we know he can hurt a man. Yeah, that we do know. And there's a reason we don't know very much about this man. He, he doesn't seem to like to uh, oh. speak very much. He lets his actions speak for him. RC Sniper into a cover, hooks a leg, only two after that leg drop on the ring apron, but still not enough to put away Maverick. And now RC Sniper shoving the referee out of the way as the other bad dude's outside. He's angry now. Oh, oh, oh misses the leg lariat. Maverick catches him. There's oh. Yahtzee. That's a knockout blow. That's got to be it. Here's the cover. Legs hooked. Three, that's all. Maverick with the victory. chair shot. Maverick saw it coming. Maverick has him and plants him down. Finally, Maverick with his hands on Mikhail. And, and now Chimera, everybody from the locker room coming out to separate these two. If you ask me, let Maverick get him. Maverick's been waiting to get his hands on Mikhail. If you ask me, let Mikhail do his dirty work, Mark. Well, he's done enough dirty work when it comes to Kyle Maverick and Samantha Heights for that matter. But right now the locker room emptying out, separating these two. Wait, there's Gigi. These people are sick of this. Blacktop You want to get your hands on each other? Yeah. Let's see it. I want to see him fight. I want this to happen over and over and over again. So how about no foundation, no pull aparts, no referees, no security. How about, I, I know he loves hardcore. How about, we'll do hardcore rules, but to keep any interference, how about let's make it a hardcore lumberjack match? Hey, there you go. Blacktop battle, we have a hardcore lumberjack match. Maverick versus Mikhail. Mikhail, you always like to find a way to try to get under my skin. Tonight, I knew you were coming. You've been gone, you wanted to hide, you want to play games games, they're not happening anymore. I went from being pissed about this to now realizing that in less than two weeks, I'm going to get my hands on you. With violence, lumberjacks, all this, that, and the other and above, I will make you bleed. 
in the life of a bad dude. There may twist and turns, peaks and valleys, but one thing is consistent, family. I know these dudes will always have my back. And sometimes, sometimes you gotta look ahead. Sometimes there's a bigger prize and you have to reach for that prize and that's exactly, exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the attitude that we all have. That's the attitude of a bad dude. Now if you wanna see these two bad dudes, well, I guess you idiots at home are gonna have to subscribe to the Rockstar Pro Wrestling Network. We have a tag team match here on Hampton. Wait a minute, once again, before the bell even rings here, Phil Stamper and Frank Wyatt going after the Bro Warriors. Uh, I was going to say, uh, Phil Stamper, uh, this man used to be my commentary partner up here. Uh, you know, it was better days back then. And now uh, well, he's hey, wrestling what? in the ring against the Bro Warriors. What? He doesn't seem to be holding his own very well. Uh, well, no. Uh, frankly, I wouldn't expect anything else. Oh, look at this. The gain strain here. Oh, there's a clothesline in the corner by both of them. Sex and Pex looking good tonight. Yeah, and I don't, has the bell even rung yet? I don't think this match has started. I haven't heard a bell. I mean, uh, the referee is, hasn't called for the bell, which has kind of surprised me since we have members in the ring for both teams. And now they have Phil Stamper, and they slam him in the center of the ring. Referee's trying to get some control here, yeah, which is uh, really hard to do that with the is. Bro Warriors. Well, Clayton Jackson and Jeff, I mean, Darren De Niro. Oh, Jeff, what, what was that about? They certainly tore through their opponents last week. I didn't even have time to finish my story. And All now, right, here we go. It's finally underway officially, and we have Clayton Jackson in the ring with Phil Stamper. And I can't believe this, but Phil Stamper going right after Clayton Jackson here with forearms. Well, Phil Stamper, uh, him and his alter ego, Nate Stein, they've been known, he's been known to be an announcer, but he has competed in the ring here in Rockstar Pro on a few occasions. He's been in a few rumbles. Yeah, it didn't work out too well for him, no, did it? No, it, it did not. But uh, here's his partner, Frank Wyatt. Now, now, this guy is a pretty dangerous dude. A walking, talking bar fight. Maybe teaming up with this guy will be just the thing that Phil Stamper needs to find success here at Rockstar. There's a leg drop by Wyatt into a cover. Only two, though. Oh, it, it will be the foundation, Mark. I don't know. Need just... I tell you how long? Uh, please don't. Forever! Oh, man. There's a spine buster by Clayton Jackson. Phil Stamper down. Oh, here comes Wyatt swinging a miss. Oh, there's a kick by De Niro. Jackson now with the clothesline rocking Wyatt into the ropes. Here they come. Hashtag oh. shoulders on show day. And now they got Phil Stamper all alone in the ring. Oh, man, oh, poor Phil. He's in a world of hurt. Oh, no, watch this. Oh, oh, man, there it is. This could be it. Referee into a cover. Two, three, that's it. Another W in the win column and two more Jabros in the losers column. We are on a roll. I said it before. Too easy. Too easy. Ah, lightweight. We're running lightweight. through teams faster than you and Deep Rats. Oh. Run through freshman girls. Too easy. Jay Mathis. Oh. Like I said, far from over. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Ooh, I know. We have a tag team match here on AMP. The team of Zach Spades and Kyle Craven facing off against this is awkward. And now we have Sid Fabulous starting the matchup for his team and Zach Spades for his opponent's team. Yeah, and, and I got to bring something up. What? During the ring announce announcements, I believe yeah. JP introduced this is awkward as weighing in at a combined weight of 569 pounds. Now, I know Sid Fabulous is a lean, mean fight in 169. That must mean Chimera has put on about 100 pounds, man. That is cultivating mass. Uh, he, he is a big man. That, that's cultivating mass, you're right. 
But uh, normally, I believe he's three bills. I, I don't know. Right now, Zach Spade's lighting into Sid Fabulous here. Maybe he's hitting that really good Mexican restaurant down the street before show. It is a really good Mexican restaurant. I'll, I'll give you that. That's something we can agree on. One thing. Oh, man. Spade's just eating those chops. And now a forearm by Sid Fabulous. And now Sid Fabulous takes him into his corner. And here comes the big man, Benjamin Chimera. He will be teaming up with OI4K against the bad dudes at Blacktop Battle. But right now he's in there with Sid Fabulous. And Sid Fabulous just got run over by a train. <laughs> wow. More like a barbarian. Look at this teamwork by Craven and Spades. Right on Sid's face. Craven is the legal man, and now he's going after Sid Fabulous. Oh, man. Craven has Sid Fabulous. He's got him up. Oh, man. He plants him face first. Craven into a cover. Only two. Here comes Spades into the matchup. He makes the tag. He lines it up. Oh, man, just throws the shoulder right into the midsection. And it's as, it's as if any offense that Sid Fabulous can muster. Wait a minute. Here's a cover. Only two. It's, it's just making his opponents angrier. That's exactly right. I mean, Sid's doing everything he can, though. We know how tough Sid Fabulous oh, is. going for the tag. He's trying to make a tag here to the big man. But Spades has a boot. Oh, and now he's got the back of Sid Fabulous as he clubs it to the mat. We've said it time and time again with Sid Fabulous, he could take so much abuse in that ring, and that's exactly what he needs to do tonight. Sid on his feet, wrong corner. Wait, through the legs, there's the tag! Here comes Chimera! Just what the doctor ordered for This Is Awkward. Chimera's got him. He's got him by the throat. Oh. There it is, the choke slam. He just mauled him. Oh. Now on double knees by Sid. Can it be? Here's the cover, and just like that, this is awkward with the victory. Wow. No, I need you to move the 25,000 in. Hey, hey, he'll uh, talk to you later. I got to talk to my best friend. So. That was $25,000 out of my annuity. I had to move it in the next five minutes. What do you want? It's an annuity. Hey, okay, man, we're killing it. Anyways, we're getting it. We're moving to the next level, smashing people. We're on the road to blacktop battle. It's time to get it, man. You on your phone talking about annuities or... Yeah, annuities. Yeah. It's cow training. Real clever. Anyways, you're right. We took down Spades and Craven. We're on our way back to the number one contendership for the Tag Team Championships. The road continues to blacktop battle. What I hear is me and you taking on the Bro Warriors for the number one contendership. Are you ready for this? Oh, you know it. This tie. This tie costs more than your house. No, I don't have a house. I'm following you home. Oh! Once again, Rockstar Pro Wrestling is giving you some of the greatest action anywhere on the independent circuit. Let me rephrase that, anywhere in professional wrestling. You, the Rockstar fans, have the privilege to get to see the world champion Aaron Williams and not one, but two high caliber title defenses in the upcoming months. Champ. Where do I start? I got Sammy Callahan on the first right here at the Rockstar Pro Arena. And then we're gonna step outside and I'm gonna face Ethan Page. But where do I begin? Do I start with Sammy Callahan or do I start with Ethan Page? Well, it really doesn't matter. So we'll start with me. See, Aaron Williams is a guy who's clawed and fought his entire life. That's the only thing I know. Unfortunately, I've never graced another country. Unfortunately, I've never graced NXT. I've never been in Lucha Underground. Nobody around the world can speak my name in a household order. But you know what I am? I am the Rockstar Pro Wrestling World Champion. So Sammy, I know what's gonna happen next week. Your music's gonna hit. You're gonna come through the curtain and somebody's gonna chant Sammy! Sammy! Some people may even chant Solomon! None of that matters to me. 
Because the only thing I see as a man trying to take away something that means everything to me. So I'm gonna go through you, Sammy. I'm gonna beat you. And then Ethan Page, bring all the ego you want. Because on Friday night at Blacktop Battle, there will be no ego greater than the baddest man alive. Oh, why? 4K. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. Spider Monkey, first time meeting? That's ridiculous. See, I'm not worried about you, I'm looking past you. Bruce Gray, no one thing. That's keep your nose out of your business and your hands out of this match. Or you're gonna see what I'm gonna do to you real fast, and that's the truth. Feature match time here on YouTube, and what a special match we have here. A first time ever dream match between Spider Monkey and Alex Cologne, two world traveled wrestlers. Chris, you gotta love this one. First time ever, really. Yeah, it's a dream match up here. Mark, this is a farce. Well, what are you talking about? Spider Monkey, we all know who he is. What, who is Spider Monkey? I know he's a great wrestler. Stop playing dumb, you idiot. Well, Spider Monkey's a great wrestler. He's, he's in JCW, he's half of the Tag Team Champions. That's what you mean, right? Uh, yeah, sure, right. Well, this is a dream matchup. I've been waiting to see this one for a long time. Spider Monkey and Cologne, there's a leg trip by Spider Monkey. Only one, though. Cologne now trips the legs, and he only gets one. Spider Monkey back up. Oh, and look at Monkey hanging off those ropes. Oh, arm drag caught by Cologne. Spider Monkey rolls through and he hits that one. A go behind by Alex Cologne. Man, both of these competitors so fast. Spider Monkey with the go behind. Oh, a car wheel, but look at Spider Monkey holding on. Spider Monkey may be fast, I'll give him that. Yeah. But Alex Cologne is the quickest, the fastest athlete on the Rockstar roster. Well, Spider Monkey might have something to say about that. I don't think Spider Monkey says anything. Uh, that's true. I don't know, he might have said his name once. I don't know. Spider Monkey oh. gets tossed by Alex Cologne halfway across the ring. Cologne now has him and dumps him in between the turnbuckles. Yeah, the last time Spider Monkey competed here at Rockstar Pro, he had tag team partners in his corner. He's on his own tonight against Alex Cologne, one of the members of my family, Mark, the foundation. Of course, Alex Cologne did win the Gem City Rumble this year, giving him the opportunity to cash in a title chance at any title at any time he sees fit for the next year. Cologne with the cover after those double knees, only two. And you gotta think, Mark, you gotta think that Aaron Williams or Sammy Callahan, when they're taking on Ethan Page at Blacktop Battle coming up soon, they're gonna have to have in the back of their mind that thought of Alex Cologne because at any moment he could cash in and, hey, challenge for any title in this company. Absolutely, a, a very good point. And with the uh, grueling week that the Rockstar Pro World Champion will have, the winner of Williams and Callahan will have to face all ego Ethan Page. I mean, that could be a perfect opportunity to cash in two grueling matches back to back like that. It could. Alex is a very, very intelligent wrestler. He'll know what to do. He'll know when to cash that in. Well, Blacktop Battle is coming up on Friday, June the 3rd. What a card we have. Like we said, the winner of Callahan and Williams will face off against All Ego Ethan Page, and we have so much more than that. That's right. The tag team titles are on the line as the foundation, our tag team champions, take on the handicapped heroes. Jessica Havoc facing off against Samantha Heights and so much more. So much on this card. It's even hard to name it all at this point in time.
And right now, Alex Colon has Spider Monkey down on the mat. He's just wearing him down, Mark. That's what you do with a high flyer. You ground him. Oh, Spider Monkey trying to find an escape. Colon has the shoulders pinned, but only two. And like you said, Alex Colon again trying to slow down the high flyer. He's in absolute control. You know, like we talk about Alex Colon's temper, right? And we know he does have a fiery temper. However, when he is in control, he is equally as dangerous. Spider Monkey off the rope, swing and a miss by Colon as he rolls through. Spider Monkey has the head trapped. Oh wait, back up he goes. What's that? Oh! Into a DDT, wow! No! Here's the cover, only two. Cologne to the outside. Spider Monkey, though, looks to fly. Oh. He soars through the ropes, taking out Cologne. Man, Spider Monkey, he is fired up. He must have uh, eaten a bunch of bananas before he came out here. A lot you, of potassium. You'd think that'd make him tired, though, with a full belly? Is that a smart idea? I don't know. Wait a minute. Moon sold off the middle rope. Here's the cover. Hooks the leg. Will it be? No, it's only two. Come on, Alex. You're so much better than this quote-unquote spider monkey. Why are you putting it in quotes? That's his name. Mm -hmm. Spider monkey with a shot to the midsection. Up and over he goes. Lands on his feet. Cologne rolls him up, bringing him to the center of the ring. What's he going for here? Tying up Look the legs. At that. Man, he's got him all tied up here. Just how athletic. How talented, how much of a mat technician is Alex Colon? Man, and Spider Monkey, he is so far away from the ropes here. Spin him in half, Alex. Man, he could break him. And Colon drops him. And now he's going to work right on that back that he just worked over after that hold. He's got him up. Oh, Monkey lands on his feet. What's this? No. Oh, into a takedown, spiking him on his head. Wow, Spider Monkey with the cover, only two. Not tonight, Spider Monkey. You're not gonna get lucky with a move like that. You're in the ring with Alex Colon. Up, oh, shooting star press off the back. Will this be? Here's the cover, but again, only two. Colon staying alive. Spider Monkey setting him up. Could be going for one of his uh, signature moves here. Off the top, oh, split-legged, tried for the 450, but Cologne avoided. Alex just too fast for him. Oh, he caught the boot that time, did Spider Monkey. What's this? Cologne, he's got him up. Oh, oh, man! Drops him with the gory bomb, will be enough, here's the cover. Two, no, Spider Monkey not done. Stay on him. Oh, kick right to the face. Oh. oh man, what a kick that was, kicking a field goal. He's got him up. Oh, oh, knees right to the back. See, now Alex is angry. That's gotta be it, here's the cover. No, it's only two. How did that not finish off Spider Monkey? I, I wish I could tell you, I don't know. The looks of this guy. Alex should have beaten him three times over by now. Spider Monkey trying to get back into this as Cologne tries to put him away. Referee backing up Cologne as Spider Monkey's in the oh. ropes. Hey, what was that? Cologne just shoved the ref. Spider Monkey, oh, oh man, he planted him. Here's the cover, two, no. three, that's it. And just like that, Spider Monkey wins. How about that, Spider Monkey using the back of the referee and driving the skull of Alex Cologne into the mat. For the victory. What a victory for Spider Monkey. That stupid little idiot. You know I'm a man of science, right, Mark? But looking uh, at looking at Spider Monkey, it makes me believe evolution's a lie. No, wait! No! Look who's here! Hold the phone! Here's Bruce Gray! Watch out, Alex Cologne! No! True grits there! Here's yeah. the DDT to Alex Cologne! DDT! 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 Don't let him talk. I never lost the Gym City Rumble. Guess he did. 
Well, Bruce Gray says that he's the rightful winner of the Gem City Rumble. And if you ask me, and if you ask many others, he really is. He had the match won until Cologne surprised him from behind after hiding under the ring all match. He's a sore loser. That's what he is. Well, Bruce Gray gets some revenge here tonight, but I have a feeling he's just getting started. Inspirational. So I was told that I need to address this whole situation with Ron Mathis and Jake Chris. You're looking at inspirational, Jack. You guys are a little upset about what I did in the Gem City room. Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> Gregory Iron, you put your nose where it didn't belong. Mathis can't believe it. Off the ropes. No. Iron caught him. I don't think anybody expected that. Oh, what an inspirational rumble winner we no. have. No. And now you gotta face some consequences. While I was gone, Jake, Ron, you and your cronies, you became bigger asses than I ever was. You're looking at the best thing going in Rockstar Pro today. So when I came back to the Gem City Rumble, I had to make a statement. Jake is gone! Jake is gone! And Jake, I started with you, throwing you over the top rope. And I almost won the damn thing. One mean hombre, the white trash messiah, the best manager to ever step foot in this place. You gentlemen have decided to target me. You want to stack the odds. Never mind the fact that not only did I eliminate you fools from the Gem City Rumble, the last week in six-man tag action, I got the one, two, three. Watch out here, there's Iron! Oh, a flatliner, he caught him! Go for the pin, come on! No, no, Iron no, no, with no, the cover, no, 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 two, no, no. three, that's it! Iron did it again! Maybe this is teamwork personified. So now, tonight, you want to make the situation worse. One, one. Handicap match? Handicap match, real clever, real funny, because I'm disabled. Son, you bit off more than you can chew tonight. You don't think I've had the odds against me in my entire life? You think I'm scared? You think I'm afraid of what you two can do? Well, I'm not. Let's do this. Tonight, you gentlemen are gonna learn that Gregory Iron was like three things. I endure, I inspire, and I fight. When it's all said and done, you will know that I will be victorious. And come June 3rd, when I bring in Zach Allen, the handicapped heroes are going to walk away 10 pounds heavier with that gold around our waist.